Years ago this month, the U.S. and its allies stormed Normandy Beach in Nazi-occupied France to turn over the war. It's a day we remember as D-Day. Today in Muskegon, hundreds gathered at the USS LST 393 to reenact one of the most pivotal days in World War II. 13 on your side, Jeremiah Brown was able to catch just a glimpse of what happened today and spoke with several reenactors. Jeremiah, how did it go? Lauren, the D-Day reenactment at the LST make, takes place every year, and those there re, who are reenacting tell me it's the ability to portray history to the community and doing so in the shadow of one of the two LST landing ships still remaining from World War II. Each year, people from across the country come to Muskegon wearing authentic World War II uniforms and doing skirmishes to simulate what those who served during the war saw and felt. Organizers say many reenactors spend the night with their families of board the LST, one of the last ships of its kind in the world that has been preserved as a museum. Vintage World War II planes fly over the LST during the reenactments as participants simulate an air raid on the ship in front of spectators. Those who travel to take part each year say events like these are important to remember the sacrifices made by those who gave their lives in the war and what they experienced while fighting for our nation. Um, having met some of the veterans, the men that actually served in these units, they were some of the most special men I've ever met in my life. Um, kind hearted, really good souls, and they just got to keep the memory alive, you know. You, you don't want to forget the sacrifice of hundreds of thousands of men that got wounded and killed in, in the war for us to be able to stand here and sit under the, the warship that survived the war. Reenacting today is only one part of the weekend as participants are also treated to a 1940s style swing dance aboard the top deck of the LST and after the final battle, battle are able to go on the Aquastar cruise. We'll have more sights and sounds along with voices from more reenactors from today's D-Day reenactment later tonight at 11. In the newsroom, Jeremiah Brown, 13 on your side.